Vrije Universiteit Amsterdam is blowing out 140 candles this year, cause for celebration. That's why the 2020-2021 academic year will be the Kuiper year, in honor of the legacy of VU Amsterdam's founder, Abraham Kuiper. But why did Abraham Kuiper found a university? Wasn't he a politician? And didn't he start his own church and a newspaper? All true, a classic Renaissance man, Kuiper was a passionate defender of democracy. His convictions led him to found the Netherlands' very first political party and he would eventually go on to become Prime Minister of the Netherlands. Thanks to Kuiper's efforts, ordinary people were able to unite behind a shared political vision for the first time and to stand up against the ruling elite. Political freedom was born. Kuiper was also an advocate of diversity, preferring openly conflicting opinions over silent consensus. Acting on his ideals, he started a large number of initiatives to make the world a better place, a true social entrepreneur, long before that concept even existed. Funded by a number of wealthy friends, like the brewer Willem Hovey, Kuiper founded Freie Universiteit Amsterdam in 1880. But his fellow church members, people of ordinary means, also chipped in by donating some of their savings. Freie Universiteit Amsterdam was to become a university where science could be practiced freely, without the involvement of church or state. A place where scientists would have the freedom to do research and teach, motivated by their own personal convictions. Kuiper's commitment to democracy, diversity and social entrepreneurship is still very important to FU Amsterdam. During the Kuiper year, we will apply his ideas to the present, during the day and at night, stepping outside our comfort zone to challenge each other.